I dedicate this program to the fight against crime. Not merely crimes of violence and dishonesty, but crimes of whack-ass beats, crimes against hip-hop. The following is my recollection of a silver beat matter. <laughs> A good night's sleep, a fresh brew with a dash of Kahlua, and a hip piece from Jackie Giordano brought another sunny California morning. The smell of dust and cellophane tickled my senses as I shuffled for the next dig. You dig? My mojo was flowing, my inspiration at peak. It was time to hit the switch. Time to make a beat. As I sampled away in sequencing like a novice, Something shook me, took my breath away. There was a sparkle glimmering into my soul. The dopest beat anyone could hold. I stood up furious and gleeful, glancing back shoulder to shoulder. How is it that I heard heat, but it was nothing coming from me? I found a grubby house at the end of the dead-end street high in Redondo Boulevard, overlooking Inglewood Cemetery. It took me twice to realize the door buzz needed maintenance. I knocked. I walked around the side of the house. Nobody tried to stop me through an open breezeway and wish that somebody had because I felt like an intruder. Because of a woman sitting in a chair, staring down at 16 pads, sparkled in the sunlight. Because of the way she chopped her loop and finessed her arrangement, with a few clicks and finger stretches, it was ready to play and observe. Nothing came out of my dropped jaw and nothing came in, which was surprising since it was at crawl level. Only one word belted out after hearing the first sequence.